As someone who has worked with thousands of influencers and creators and reviewed hundreds and hundreds of pitches and has probably seen the top 1% of creators in our industry work with brands, I can tell you that there are personality traits that I have seen across the top 1%. I hope that by sharing these traits, you get motivated and inspired. Before I do, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're a creator or influencer that wants to work with brands. This is your space. If you want to learn about monetization, subscribe to our channel. That's what we like to talk about here at Sidewalker. So the first trait that I've seen amongst all successful influencers that I've worked with, creators that are making in the hundreds and hundreds of thousands a year, it is that they are action driven. I have also seen a lot of influencers that are a lot of talk and not enough walk. And I say this not to throw a job or a dig, but it's just true. There are people who talk about doing stuff and then there's the people that execute on doing stuff. I know that execution is hard. I personally can relate that when you take a really big task, it can be overwhelming, right? And that's why we say breaking it down into little small pieces, but they are action driven people, right? So if you had to write down a word to help a mantra or you know an affirmation potentially is telling yourself, I am action driven uh, and that I do what I say I'm going to do. Because here's the thing, you can get so overwhelmed in this industry and want to do it all, be on all the platforms and do everything at 100% and it's hard and then you burn out and then you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. So I'd rather have you just pick one thing, right? Or two things that you really want to focus on and find the end goal there, set goals and meet those goals. The second trait that I've seen amongst all the successful influencers that I've worked with is authenticity. These people are not faking who they are. They are that, they are them online. It's not like a second persona that they're putting on. Some of the most successful influencers I have as friends, they are not only the same person, when I say the same person, what they're talking about, they actually believe, they actually agree with, they actually feel good about sharing. It's not like, oh, here, post this. And then behind the scenes being like hating it. Truly being authentic is feeling that you're aligned with, you know, your purpose. And I find that creators who have a sense of purpose, a sense of knowledge of what they're doing and when they feel aligned, it's almost like going to that chiropractor, you get like all straightened out. It's really, really helpful, not only for your content, but for your success to just remain yourself and do what lights you up. And then the next trait with authenticity is being passionate about what it is that they're doing. I see that everyone that I work with is just like so passionate. They're all such like intense. When I say intense, I don't mean like visually, like, you know, verbally intense, but they're so passionate about what they're doing. They're so excited about the content that they're producing, right? So it really does come across on the screen. And I think we all feel it when we see creators that we all really like, we're like, wow, they're like magnetic. And I think it's because that authenticity and that passion is driving through the screen. Now, if you are a creator that wants to work with brands and wants to learn actionable strategies on how to do so, make sure you sign up for my next free live training. They are so much fun. They're jam packed with information and strategies that are gonna help you work with brands no matter your following size. So you can click the link below to get started. Now, the next trait that I'm seeing in all the successful influencers I work with is adaptability. I remember before Reels came out, um, one of my girlfriends was telling me, she's like, I just got good at taking pictures. Now I have to do video. She's like, I literally just figured out like how to put a preset on an image or how to use Lightroom. And she could have just kind of stayed behind and not done the video thing and she would have missed out on major opportunities. Now I'm not saying you need to jump to every single platform and learn them all. I'm just saying be adaptable, right? So like if, Instagram launches a new feature and you're on Instagram and this is your main platform, you may want to get on it, right? Same thing like YouTube Shorts, they launching a new feature. You may want to kind of bite the bullet and get past that fear that maybe is holding you back um, and being adaptable because our industry changes so much, so fast that you need to be able to adapt, adapt your content strategy, adapt your pitching strategy, just adapt in general. Another trait I see amongst the successful influencers that are not only in my program, but that I get to work with every day are strong communication skills. Now those communication skills come out not only in their content, how they storytell, 
how they're able to connect with their audience. It also comes out in their pitching and they're talking to brand clients and being able to communicate to their brand clients the value that they're bringing to the table. They have strong communication skills. And I think that does come with practice and practice comes with being prepared and confidence also comes with being prepared. But those communication skills, I see it across all of the creators, whether it's in their storytelling ability, their ability to draw an audience in, their hook, how they talk to clients, how they make money, how they are able to get a client to sign on with them. Definitely strong communication skills. And then another skill I would say I see across the board is just a resilient mindset, like not afraid of hearing no, you know, putting yourself out there like on the internet and being afraid of what people are gonna say or failing or having something flop or getting feedback that you may not like. I just feel like the people that I work with that I see day in and day out kill it. They know that that's kind of just part of the process. They have a resilient mindset. They have a growth mindset. They're not letting these little failures hold them back. Actually, they look at them as opportunity to learn. Why did this flop or why didn't this do well? It gives you an opportunity to really grow and learn and also like let those punches come to you, especially when it comes to pitching, guys. It takes resiliency to put yourself out there and to, you know, maybe get those no's, tons of no's, right? And we always tell everyone in our program, you guys, you're going to get no's. Get prepared, get that resilient mindset in so that you can just feel good about where you're going and know that it's just a part of the growth, right? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments, like this video. It helps us create content for you and I'll see you guys in the next video.